Hello again. I'm so happy to see you. You know, my birthday is coming soon and I hope to receive some big presents this year. From the two sentences that I spoke just now, can you guess what we are going to learn this lesson? Let me give you a hint. They are about the words that I used, happy and big. Yes, we are going to learn about adjectives. Adjectives are words that we use when we describe people, things, events and so on. For example, when I said, I am so happy to see you, the adjective happy is telling you how I feel. Adjectives can also be used to describe size, color, shape and so on. Like in the second sentence I said, I hope to receive some big presents this year. The adjective big describes the size of my present. Adjectives can be used in different ways in a sentence. They are normally used before nouns. For example, Sang Chi is using a blue shirt. Blue is the adjective and it comes before the noun shirt. Let's try another one. Samad is my old friend. The adjective old comes before the noun friend. Let's see if you can spot the adjectives in the following sentences. Remember, the adjective should be before the noun. My elder brother is a pilot. In this sentence, brother is the noun. So the adjective before brother is elder. Samad's father has a red car. If we are looking for the adjective before the noun, then the adjective should be red because it comes before the noun car. Adjective can also be used for comparison. For example, if we were comparing the sizes of a lion, a camel and an elephant, we would say, the lion is large, the camel is larger, but the elephant is the largest. In the sentences, we are comparing adjectives that show size, large, larger, largest. These are adjectives in regular forms. Let's see if you can find the comparison adjectives for these words. Small. Yes, small, smaller, smallest. Heavy. Heavy, heavier, heaviest. Cheap, cheaper, cheapest. Comparison adjectives can also be in irregular form. For example, Zakia is good in chess. Fariza is better. But Intan is the best. Good, better, best are comparison adjectives in irregular forms. See if you can find the comparison adjectives for the following words. Bad. Yes, bad, worse, worst. Sometimes adjectives used in comparison must be used with the word more if we are comparing two things and most if we are comparing three or many things. What do I mean by that? For example, Sheila is beautiful. Alice is more beautiful, but Mary is the most beautiful. So, the adjectives are beautiful if we are talking only about Sheila, more beautiful if we are comparing two people, Alice, Sheila, most beautiful when we are comparing all the three ladies, Sheila, Alice and Mary. 
we can also form the negative of adjectives by adding prefixes. Prefixes are words such as un, this, none. Example, the adjective kind can become negative when we add un to it. Unkind. That man is an unkind person. The adjective honest can become negative when we add this to it. Dishonest. Don't buy anything from that dishonest shopkeeper. The adjective fiction can become negative when we add non to it. Non-fiction. Nina loves reading non-fiction books. Now let's try these exercises. Today is a very day. The answer is hot. Today is a very hot day. Yesterday was then the day before. The answer is colder because we are comparing two days. Yesterday was colder than the day before. I felt when I found out that I failed my geography test. The answer is sad. I felt sad when I found out that I failed my geography test. That's it for this lesson. Bye.